I am not a vet nor an animal nutritionist. If you have concerns about your dog's health, please contact your veterinarian. You may find a holistic vet by searching the AHVMA website. Hey everyone, it's Jessica with Freedom Canine Training. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the benefits of turmeric as a supplement and show you how I make what is called golden paste. I've put the links below to start your research and as always, check with your vet before changing your dog's diet. Turmeric has many amazing health benefits. It is a powerful antioxidant. It is naturally anti-inflammatory. It protects the liver from toxins and helps prevent and can even treat cancer. The compound in turmeric responsible for all this greatness is curcumin. Studies show that curcumin holds promise as a disease modifying and chemo preventative agent and can help fight diseases such as arthritis, diabetes, cancer, liver disease, and more. There are a couple of things that I want to put out there before you start feeding your dog golden paste. First, it is not without side effects. So I want to reiterate, do your research and talk to your vet or find a holistic vet before giving your dog turmeric. Secondly, our dog's bodies can't absorb curcumin without a little help. Properties in black pepper and healthy oils like coconut oil help increase absorption significantly. Dosage recommendations vary, though most of what I see states to start with a quarter teaspoon per meal to see how they tolerate it. You can build up to a half a teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight per day. My dogs are healthy, they're young, they're not fighting cancer or anything like that, so I feed them one teaspoon per day. Curcumin leaves the body quickly, so it must be fed more than once a day. If you feed twice a day, simply split the dosage between each meal. All right, let's get to it. I first want to warn you, if you've never cooked with turmeric before, be aware that it stains everything. Spoons, countertops, your clothes, your fingers, even your dog. I like to make my golden paste in bulk so I can freeze it and take it out whenever I need it. If you choose to make a smaller amount, you can just store it in your refrigerator. It should stay good to up to about two weeks. It is always best, whether you're feeding yourself or your animals, to use organic or fresh as much as possible. But if for whatever reason that prevents you from feeding your dogs and yourself a healthy diet, I would say don't worry about the organic and go for it. The recipe I use calls for three cups of turmeric powder, six cups of water, two cups of coconut oil, three tablespoons of black pepper, and I like to add two tablespoons of cinnamon for its additional antioxidant and antimicrobial properties, as well as it adds some sweetness. If you choose to add cinnamon to your dog's diet, please be aware that there are two types, cassia and Ceylon. Cassia cinnamon is cheaper, it's the most common, it's probably the one that you're gonna find at your local grocery store. If the label says Saigon cinnamon or it's not specified at all, then it's cassia cinnamon. Cassia cinnamon is only recommended in small dosages and not for extended periods of time. So if you're gonna add cinnamon to your dog's diet, make sure that you're feeding Ceylon cinnamon. Making golden paste is super simple. I start with heating the water on medium high. Once it's warm, I'll add the turmeric powder and stir until thick. Now that it's thick, I'm going to add my coconut oil, black pepper, and cinnamon, and stir that all together until it's mixed. Now that it's mixed, I'm going to remove it from the heat and let it cool before portioning and freezing. That's it y'all. Super easy, super healthy golden paste. I hope that you found that helpful. To learn more about me, head on over to my website, freedomcanidetraining.com. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's anything else I can help support you on, reach out, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.